Hi, my name is Andy Ann. My first poem today is from my first book from a long time ago, Return to Camp Town, which has recently had its 10th year anniversary reissue. And the first poem is from that book, and it's simply called Tandle Hill. The memory of that last day is lost like a magic spell, which has almost gone past its cell by date. The memory of that last day was the wind jarred with the mist, acting like strangers, dragged off by wolves, as we walked in that broken sunshine, that final time. All I remember of that day was the wind turning into hail, and then rain again, for swaying through our coats, rather in your smile, as you grabbed my hand, and we stumbled down, unsure how we got there in the first place. A lullaby still whispering softly to me, even though time has ached from some of the memories, leaving me struggling to remember your surname looking back. But not the rain, never the rain, never the rain. Never the rain caked and froze in mist covering the hills. Could I talk about toll afterwards? My eager eyed policeman was haunted by ghosts, and we slept through a lot, totally bombed out of our heads. Endlessly, I would walk to the end of the world in here. Endless, endless, and I guess I still do. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, moving straight on. I'm going to read out a couple of poems now from my current book, Streets Are All We Can See Now. With The Streets Are All We Can See, this is a completely different kettle of fish altogether, this book, where all the poems are almost like microfiction or flash fiction in the sense of the tiny, short little pieces. So I'm going to read two of them out for this session. And the first one's called Rating for the Ice to Melt. Waiting for the ice to melt. Curling itself into a ball to keep warm. The mermaid waits underneath the frozen ice, trying to keep warm. And secondly, feelings much closer to home. The train pauses for a few seconds as the guard looks back, almost like he was watching the steam recreate brief encounters again with feelings much closer to home. Cheers guys. Okay, lastly I'm going to do another poem now from Return to Kempton. This poem is, is for the memory of my uncle. He was unfortunately killed in action in the Second World War. But this poem is called Percy. I never met you, but I can imagine you stood there even now in your uniform with your slightly bent cap. I never looked up at you growing up and said with a wide-eyed innocence, you're almost as big as a tree, all six foot four. Never served beside you through the mud in Burma, which must have been hell to crawl through, before being possibly transferred against your choice to India, where I like to think you imagined your explorer stepping into the unknown. Never marched alongside you every morning at night as part of the Fugiliers. I drank a warm beer with you on the rare occasion you were able to rest. I wasn't there. We went back for that final time and never heard you say, I'll write soon. And the letter only arrived after you had gone. I was told you died like a man, leading your men into the gates of the machine guns which cut you down like the charge of the light brigade and passed on so others lived to fight another day. I never knew you, but I can imagine you stood there even now in uniform, even though we never met. But I could taste your thoughts, ride up into the engines in a of shadows. Percy Henry Nicholson, 1918-1943. Percy Henry Nicholson, my uncle, 1918 to 1943. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care.